What's going on, people? Your boy, Mad Mike, Atlanta Falcons Nation, Unholy Alliance. He is what remains. This is your boy, man. Um, this is a question. If you guys have not already, leave your comments in the comment section for the Ask Mad Mike segment on Unleash. Unleash is where I ask, answer all of your questions that you ask throughout the week. Um, whether it's football, NFL, Falcons related, hell, even, you know, NBA, or hell, maybe even baseball, whatever the case may be, wrestling, whatever the case may be, man, this is your opportunity to submit and be featured on the, uh, on Unleashed. So again, let's get straight to it, man. This is from Christy Lewis. Hey, Gary, how you doing? Um, she said, what is your insight? It has always been on my radar if the O-line can hold up to protect Cousins, who has been perceived to hold on to the ball uh, long at times during his tenure with the Falcons. This move gives me the perception that the Falcons are making key moves to support Kurt in, his, in being successful this year. This is a great question. Why? It's because... A lot of people don't want to really talk about the offensive line. We talk about trench play a lot here at Atlanta Falcons Nation. A lot of people are so focused on skilled players, getting the best wide receiver, getting the best uh, edge guy, getting the best cornerback. Well, we don't care about a lot of that stuff. If it doesn't, if your trenches don't play well, a lot of the times you're going to see you know, your quarterback and your team struggle. And we've seen that in the tenure of Matt Ryan. We saw that a lot. It got to a point where Matt Ryan, um, you know, in this last year in 21, that, you know, he got stepped on and you saw this dude bleeding profusely on, on the field and nothing happened. This dude was just steady bleeding. You had the... The, the reps, nobody stopped playing and say, all right, let's get this guy some help. Nope. It was just bleeding on the field. So, at the end of the day, man, you can't continue to let your quarterback get hit and expect to be successful. That's either Matt Ryan, Tom Brady. It doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. You have to have good O-line play. And for the Atlanta Falcons, this has been something that has been absolutely amazing. Um, if you look at the left tackle, for example, Jake Matthews is one of the greatest offensive linemen that we've seen in the last 10 years or so. This dude has been a model citizen. He's good on and off the field. He's a great teammate. He's knowledgeable. He comes from a family lineage that has just been one of the best football families uh, you can never imagine. Bruce Matthews, Clay Matthews, Senior, Junior. We've seen all these guys. So these guys, when you talk about Jake Matthews, pass protection, great. Run, he's freaking excellent. He's one of the best offensive linemen when it comes down to running the damn ball. This dude is physical. He's an absolute monster. So the Atlanta Falcons in the running game with Jake Matthews, uh, and him continue to be like that. The thing is with him, how long do we have him left? Is he's going to stay the remainder of his three years with the Atlanta Falcons? We don't know. Are we going to draft his successor? We don't know. Uh, but at the end of the day, Jake Matthews, his guy, went healthy. He is that dude. And for the most part, he is that. So I don't have to worry about you know, the left tackle. The left guard is something that I'm seeing right now. A lot of people looking at him. This dude could be the next big thing, man. And I'm talking about Matthew Bergeron. This kid is really open a lot of guys' eyes. You look at what Dallas, Dallas, for the most part, they wanted him. They wanted him to be, they wanted to draft in the first round. They passed. Thank God they ended up passing on him. The Falcons ended up picking him up. And it's been good ever since. Matthew Bergeron is poised to be, you know, I wouldn't necessarily say on the level of a Chris Lindstrom, but this dude has the physical tools, passing game, pass protection, running game, physicality, uh, the knowledge of the game, the mentality of being, you know, just, just to get after it. Uh, he He's amazing. So the Falcons are good at that left guard position also. And, you know, after seeing the, the press conference with – 
uh, Raheem Morris, I kind of got some insight on how people perceive Drew Dahlman to be. Um, a lot of people don't give him the credit as being, uh, 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 you know, the pass protector that he really is. He really is that freaking good. You know, he doesn't give up a lot of sacks, if, if not mistaken. And I think he gave up one sack last year and was one of, you know, a top five uh, offensive lineman in the league. And now you have Jason Kelsey there. He's definitely going to, uh, Jason Kelsey end up uh, retiring, but now he's going to move uh, closer to that number one, number two, number three spot as far as centers in the league. So Drew Dahlman is doing an excellent job of improving. And it's only going to get better, in my opinion, with him as time you know, goes on with the Atlanta Falcons. And then you have the right guard. In my opinion, this is the best offensive guard in the league. It's not even close, in my opinion. This boy is a sick puppy. And I'm talking about Chris Lindstrom. This dude is nothing he can't do. He's a leader. He's a leader for the Atlanta Falcons. Okay? He's a leader for the Atlanta Falcons. You would expect Jake Matthews to be that guy to say, all right, he's the leader. But it's well known within the Atlanta Falcons fan base that Chris Lindstrom is the guy that sets the tone for this thing. Either you're going to play hard or you're going to do the thing right or you're going to get cussed out by Chris Lindstrom. He is that guy. So having him uh, as the best guard in the NFL, in my opinion, the Falcons are good. And then right tackle is one of the most underrated offensive linemen in, in the league. And, and the crazy part about it, you can't name a bunch of right tackles. But for whatever reason, Falcons fans still think he sucks. He doesn't. The right tackles in the league are usually some of the guys that aren't as good as you may expect these guys to be as far as pass protection. So you're going to see the drop off at that right tackle position versus the left tackle position. But I don't think there's a better duo. There's not many duos in the league that is as good in the running game as Chris Lindstrom and Kelly McGarrett. These guys are absolute bullies. Okay, so the Atlanta Falcons are good in my position, and in, in my opinion, at those positions with Caleb McGarry and Chris Lindstrom. So when it all comes down to it, Christy, uh, as far as Kirk Cousins being perceived to hold on to the ball at times. Um, that could be very well be the case, but you don't know exactly how uh, the offensive scheme, as far as the offensive coordinator, where they're making more of an emphasis of getting the ball downfield. Because if you're making the uh, uh, emphasis on big plays with a guy like Justin Jefferson, um, um, other wide receiver that escapes me right now, as in like these guys. You make a more uh, uh, emphasis on getting the ball downfield. Of course, he's going to hold on to the ball. So in this particular offense for the Atlanta Falcons, they're going to make a, a, a more of an emphasis, in my opinion, especially when you have an offensive coordinator like Zach Robinson, who comes from that system, who is essentially a Kyle Shanahan, Mike Shanahan uh, system, where they get the ball out of hand quick and the West Coast offense uh, and that spread off and just get the ball out of hand quick. So they preach getting the ball out of the hand quick. So when we see the same Kirk Cousins, as far as him holding on to the ball, there are going to be instances where he does that because, you know, in the quarterback's nature, at times you're going to need that. So I think the Falcons will be good, especially you got two running backs, Tyler Algier, B. John Robinson. There's going to be incredible balance for the Atlanta Falcons as far as that's concerned. So I'm not, I'm not concerned with – Kirk Cousins as far as him holding on to the ball. The Falcons offensive line, the Falcons play call, Raheem Morris, he's been there. He's designed the passing game for the Atlanta Falcons. So it'll be fine. Um, Kirk Cousins as far as, you know, he does in certain situations as a lot of quarterbacks do, they hold on to the ball a little bit too long because they feel like they can make every throw. So uh, he'll be fine. The Atlanta Falcons offense would be fine, but the question after that, you got guys like Ryan Newell who did a really good job of stepping in for Drew Dalton and a couple of other uh, positions as far as uh, 
the guard position, he did a pretty good job stepping in that guard. And times when guys were hurt, it went down a couple times. He filled in nicely. And then you got guys like Storm Norton, and I forget the other guy that they brought in at offensive line um, that they brought him in, and you know they signed him. So um, from Michigan, uh, good gosh, but. The Atlanta Falcons offensive line, I don't think the Falcons offensive line will be, uh, you know, too bad. I don't think it would be badish. I honestly think the Falcons have one of the better offensive line, not only with the coach with Dwayne Lefford, who is arguably one of the better offensive line coaches in the league. Uh, he just he, he just gets it. He's been like that in college. He's been like that in the NFL. And the Falcons have that guy. So, I, I would not be concerned as far as the offensive line is concerned and whether or not Kirk Cousins is going to hold on to, to, you know, hold on to the ball. There are going to be instances in the game where he holds the ball on too long because you got guys like Rondell Moore. You have guys like Darrell Mooney, Darnell Mooney. Like these guys are deep threats. So you're going to see him hold on to the ball a lot. But like, again, it won't be a problem if the Falcons don't, if they run the ball well with Bijan Robinson, Tyler Algier, Jace McClellan, don't know what's going to happen with Avery Williams, the Falcons offense, you would not have to worry about pass protection because a lot of times they use a lot of motion, they're going to use a lot of play action to help buy more time for the quarterback. So if the Falcons run the ball well, we won't have to worry about protection because we'll be using the play action to help buy time for the quarterback. So, again, if you guys have not already, man, hit that subscribe button, hit that like button. This has been your boy, man, Mike. Um, again, if you have not hit that community tab, leave those questions, okay? Leave those questions for your boy, man, Mike, man. I love to answer these questions. Christy Lewis, thank you so much. Thank you so much for um, leaving the uh, leaving the comments and just being supportive of our brand, everybody. Again, we appreciate it. We love each and every one of you guys. Every all the support, you know, all the super chats, all the donations. If you have not already, you can donate to the channel. Um, like I said, we have a teacher student fund where we help bring uh, these kids the proper tools, the proper. Uh, the proper tools for they can make it through their school year, school days, because a lot of them are not as privileged as others, and they need to be able to. They need to have, you know, the the, the necessary tools to be able to get you know, throughout the season. You know, uh, whether it's snacks like done or it's you know pencils, paper, books, whatever they need. You know, uh, certain types of programs we would love for you guys to donate to mad mike sports all right donate anything whether it's a dollar every little amount every amount matters so with that being said this has been your boy man mike cash app us to mad mike sports and donate to the teacher student fund of atlanta falcons nation again appreciate it Hit that subscribe button. I'm out of here, baby. Peace.